As with all iPad apps, Cubasis 3 is multi-touch, which is really awesome when it comes to editing. So we've got this musical idea and music's built in building blocks. So I'm using the select tool to select all of my events and then I could copy and paste those events onto another track and Cubasis will create new tracks for these events or I can simply undo it and set my locator at the point where I want it to be copied and pasted, select track one, and then paste the events in. So it's really easy to copy and paste, as is doing things like muting parts or events, which is really important if you're mixing on the fly. So now that I've got these two building blocks copied and pasted, I'm going to my guitar part, and I'm deciding that I don't want the guitar to be playing the whole way through the first eight bars. So I'm simply muting it. I'm also selecting two other events, which I'm then muting. So very quickly, I'm starting to get my head around a musical idea for this music production. And that idea includes what I do want playing at different points and what I don't want playing, which gives me dynamics. We can get in and edit all of the MIDI information in the MIDI editor. And you can zoom in and out using two fingers and you can start to enter notes and take notes away just by using your finger and clicking on them. You can also mute notes as we did with the events previously. So you can do things like copy, paste, erase, cut, and of course enter. So you don't even need to have a MIDI keyboard. If you're traveling somewhere and you've got this idea, you can simply create an event and then start using your finger to start entering MIDI information and triggering different types of sounds. There's also a really nice controller laying down the bottom, which you can use to edit things like velocity, pitch bender, and a number of different controller types of MIDI information. The grid's a really important part of editing in the MIDI editor, especially when you're using your finger. So you can turn on different grid settings or adjust different grid settings to make sure that any information that you're locking in or you're entering will be locked in to that grid. At the moment, I'm trying to enter MIDI information outside of the event itself. So once I go over to the event and start using my finger, you'll see that it's only entering notes based on the grid setting. So the higher the grid setting, the more lines I'm going to have in my grid. The lower the grid setting, the harder it is to enter information. So now it's set to bar, which means that wherever I put my finger, it will lock that entry point straight onto the start of a bar. And of course, there's undo and redo functionality in there just in case you make any mistakes. And that's the case with everything inside of Cubasis. There's also an audio editor, which we can use to perform a number of different processes to the audio itself. Or we can do things once again, like arrays, trim, copy, paste. We can put fade ins and fade outs into the actual audio event itself. Please take the time to check out the other videos on Cubasis 3. I'm going to catch you there.